Hi crafty friends. I'm here to share some stitching and sewing themed journals with you today. Um, they are, uh, I, I am going to pop them in my shop, um, in my Etsy shop. They are for sale and yeah, it's been a while since I've done this. So bear with me. I've had to change equipment and update programs and, oh, and guys, they disabled permanently disabled my Facebook account without explanation and I have yet to find out if that will ever be recovered. So if you get a chance and um, you want to share the link to this video with other people who might enjoy seeing these journals, it would be much appreciated. These journals were a lot of fun to make. The pictures, the images that are on the covers are all paintings by Renoir and the background fabric for each of the covers is Jay Wecker Frisch's, it was one of her earlier sewing lines. It's, it's some older fabric. They were panels and I just kind of pieced it together along with a quote on each journal. So I'll flip through one of them and I'll open the other ones and we'll take a peek inside and, uh, So the journals are five by nine inches and they have a two inch spine and they are soft covered. They have a little give to them and each one has this fun tassel on it. I did, I did get a little carried away with the spools and the embroidery floss. That was fun. So it's detachable with a bulldog clip, easy to set aside. And yeah, just really um, tactile. That's the word I'm looking for. Squishy, squishy fabric. And it's also very good at uh, static cling. It picks up all the little fluffies from the eyelash trims and the, and the sari silks. I'm going inside. I did print off uh, the sewing sayings and quotes and stuff from my shop, and I put one on each of the covers, sewing men's a soul. A couple little buttons there. So on the inside cover of each of these journals, oh, I'm shutting. I have a pocket with a small needle book in it and the um, ties for them are crinkled seam binding. So um, I get these from Erin at my scrap cabin and I will put the link to her shop below the video. She's got all the best colors and assortments and combinations. I took some Tim Holtz um, paper and did a little muslin down, down the middle and inside. I had some fun with felt. I just made a little, a little needle book there with some pins and beads and charms. And then this is a tag with some emergency needles in there. So that was fun. I do love a good needle book. And I do miss working with crinkled seam binding. It is, it is very um, versatile. So I use some Tim Holtz paper on the, on the end pages there. Let's see, why don't, why don't we peek in each of them and then I will flip through, I will flip through one of them. Um, all of them have a number of sewing charms. There's little irons and spools and sewing machines. And on each of the journals, I did uh, a looped variation of buttons and then just hooked it right into the lace there. So that was, that was kind of fun. And on the back page, 
I've got this fabulous doily and, and uh, fun flower, the little, my, uh, oh, come on, Liz, my brads <laughs> are, have little buttons on them. I, I found them probably eight years ago. I haven't found them since, but I thought they would be great in the sewing journal. And there's a little lace pocket here. And uh, this is a cheat sheet, and it actually has all of the various stitches in embroidery, which I still use <laughs> and look up. How, how, how do I do this with that? So it was a neat little reference. And a Tim Holtz stamp on a tea dyed index card there. Okay. So that's a peek inside, inside Sewing Men's the Soul. This was the blue one. This is a common thread. I just, I just love that painting. Oh. Um, it was fun. I, I made the tassels quite similar to each other. Uh, they all had so many pieces of this and that and different colors in it. But this fabulous fabric or woven uh, daisy chain of red and white, I, I have no idea why, but it wants to curl up. And every time I've worked with this, I've been, <laughs> I've been pulling it down and straightening it out. I've decided I like the curls. It makes it very full. Just because it's different. It's okay, Liz. Well, change is good. <laughs> so, and then inside here, I also have one of the needle books and the the cheat sheet for the cards in the back. Similar, um, similar pages in different orders. So I will not flip through all of these. And the last one, she's my pink journal. And I really liked these colors, a pale pink and a pale aqua. I picked up from the, from the cover picture and uh, colors I don't usually put together, but they, they pasteled very well. I thought Jackie Chimes would approve. So this is through the eye of a needle. Jackie Chime has uh, this natural ability to pick out the prettiest, soft, sweet pea colors of things. I, I, tr I try to channel her when I can. So I'm flipping through this one. Let me get you just a little closer. I did a pocket here, backed on canvas, that says stitch, sew, and needle. I was sewing when sewing wasn't cool. And a great, a great quote by Oliver Wendell Holmes. Some pretty mauve or dusty rose colored fringe here. This is some J. Wecker Frisch material, and uh, I cropped it so it would, would catch the pins and needles on the tab. A little bit of stenciling. This is some Tim Holtz cardstock, which I backed printables from my sewing full page journal set that's in my Etsy if you're interested. Little bobbin that's distressed and stamped and so it begins it's a little charm there which is a flower with a button in it I thought that was so cute and some singer fabric just stitched on as a background patch I just want to make beautiful things even if no one cares there's a little sewing machine charm down here on the lace
some music paper and thimble. Some more quotes. There's tabs at the top. Most of them are muslin. A few of them are lace. And all of them are shutting. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, in each of the journals, I picked out one of the Norman Rockwell images that showed somebody stitching on it. So she's obviously repairing or attaching his varsity letter. 1938. There weren't a lot of Rockwell covers, uh, images that, that had sewing. Um, I had to look. Here are the drippies from the bottom of the first signature, this, the signature center. Some pretty beads, butterfly, some pins. Some scissors on this tab. I keep my end tables full of needlework and quilting so I don't have to dust them. Love that. You know you're a crafter if you pet fabric. Is that not the truth? I'm a little stamped office tag there. Cut from the same cloth and a little tag with some pins and a pin cushion. Another page from my, uh, well, the other side of the page from my journal kit there. Great quote by Nathaniel Hawthorne. I'm trying to dally on any page that's got a longer quote so you can pause it and read it if you'd like. Some more stenciling. Doilies. And that is the end of the first signature. Uh, the first signature, yes, these books only have three signatures instead of four. Um, it's the same size spine I usually make, but I put three instead of four in with more pages in them because I needed room for the bulky needle book at the front of each of the journals. It's a little bit different. I had, I had to do math. <laughs> Some more stenciling. I sew, therefore I squint. Love these brown, um, different motifs on it. It was a coordinating set of fabrics. I think it, Quilting Treasures put it out. I'm, I'm the lady who goes up to the cutting table and says, I'd like a quarter, a quarter yard of everything in this stack. And I've got like 20 bolts there and they just, kind of groan and smile and yeah okay this is another uh, Renoir painting of a girl stitching I had printed several out with different covers and played with them so I think that there's an extra Renoir or two just cut out and and plopped in each of the journals. Another little spool down here. These are so fun to make. Um, even if you don't have a dark wood spool, you can get the unfinished wood ones and distress them up with your uh, distress ink and then just wind them with embroidery thread. It's a fun project. Some bobbins. Great old sewing machine. Just another tag. These tags, um, these tall tags are one of the pages in my sewing printable journal uh, set in my in my Etsy. Just some Tim Holtz 
round, round center tabs. There's a little pin cushion there. Remember, this is um, scrapbook paper out of, oh, I can't remember what set. I'm pretty sure it was a paper studio set from Hobby Lobby, but they were just some old pages. Backed it with some tea dye, all of the fun digi stamps or digital images. Another tag, and nothing hurts us like the fabric that we didn't buy. <laughs> oh, regret. And this tab has sewing needles on it. A fat quarter is not a body part. What a fun. A little stencil that says create. fun blueprint of a of a scissor there. I love blueprints. Here's a little tape measure. Charm on the lace there. And some stitched ribbon there for a tab. The pretty little stitching tag. And this is an iron, an old fashioned iron. Another tab and some Tim Holtz blueprint stamps. It's fun, I love this Singer material. And here are the buttons for this, this journal. A little tape measure up there for the tab. Hanging on by a thread. Sewing is cheaper than therapy. Little tiny stamp tag there. And another pretty tag from the set. And crinkled seam binding for everything. <laughs> I think I actually had cropped this girl from, um, no, it was in this journal, one of the pages um, that has her grandmother stitching next to her. This was a fun little digi stamp with the ribbon running down the sides of the page. Yes, there's the picture. The little girl with her grandmother. Hem your blessings with thankfulness just so they don't unravel. Here's some fun scissors. I also have some coordinating fabric that go with these. It's so, um, it's very loud, the, the larger pictures from it. So I haven't used the whole set yet, but oh, it's good to have problems like that. Some more blueprint Tim Holtz stamping. Stencils. And you can't ha buy happiness, but you can buy fabric. In the cute as a button pocket. And some ruffles. And there we go, we're to the end. And the flower for this one. 
so, so, so buttons. So buttons. Well, I will put these in my shop when I post this video. If you go to my shop and the journals are not there, then they've been sold. I actually have some more things I am going to be able to get into my shop prior to Christmas. I don't know if I'm doing international shipping yet. Um, I, it has been a while since I've been selling journals. I'm having trouble getting non-craft packages um, here and there, just stateside right now. Um, and and I'm gonna ch I was gonna go on Facebook and check in to see if anyone else had had shipping problems or recommendations, and I am I I don't have that now. So. Um, I will, I will look into that, but I will definitely uh, have some more things up soon, and I will keep in touch with you guys, at the very least, through this YouTube channel, and I am still on Instagram. Um, I, I don't know how that works, because Facebook and Instagram are owned by the same people, but I am on Instagram for now, and I'm grateful for that, so um, yeah, just keep plugging away. Somehow it all works out, doesn't it? All right. You guys have a great day. Thank you for popping in and I will be back soon. Bye-bye.